example 8, given u equals 20y to the 1 over 7, where u is the velocity of water at 20 degrees Celsius in meters per second, and y is the distance from the boundary as shown in the accompanying illustration, determine the shear stress in the water at y equals 3 mm. So, viscosity of water 1 times 10 to the negative 3 pascal second. If 1 liter of water is compressed by a pressure of 800 kilopascals, determine the final volume in cubic centimeters if the bulk modulus of elasticity of water is 2.07 gigapascals. A cylindrical tank with diameter 3 meters and height 4 meters contains water at 30 degrees Celsius, where the specific weight of water at 30 degrees Celsius is 9.764 kN per cubic meter and is brimful. If the water is heated to 80 degrees Celsius, where the specific weight is 9.53 kN per cubic meter, how much water will spill over the edge of the tank? Assume the tank is rigid. So that's the figure. So viscosity is from Newton's law on viscosity is so shear stress rather from Newton's law on viscosity is viscosity times derivative of u with respect to y or the angular deformation rate. So substitute mu is one times ten to the negative three newton second per meter square or pascal second. The derivative of u with respect to y is 20 over 7 y to the negative 6 over 7. And we substitute the value of y in meter because this is newton second per meter square. So 0 0.003 meter into this equation. So the result is so 20 over 7 times 0 0.003 meter to the negative 6 over 7. So the result is 0.4153 Pascal. Then 8.2, bulk modulus of elasticity is negative uh, volume initial delta P over delta V, where delta V is final volume minus initial volume and the initial volume is 1 liter or 1000 cubic centimeters 1000 cc so 2070 megapascals 2.07 gigapascals is 2070 megapascals and delta p is 800 kilopascals so divided by 1000 to convert it also to megapascals to be consistent and final volume is Delta V rather is final volume minus 1000. So therefore, final volume is negative 1000 times 0 0.8 divided by 2070, then plus 1000. So it is equal to 999.6 cubic centimeters or cc. Then lastly, a cylindrical tank with diameter 30 meters and height 4 meters contains water at 30 degrees Celsius where the specific weight is 9.764 and is beautiful. If the water is heated to 80 degrees Celsius, it will expand. So therefore, the, we compute also the final uh, volume of water at 80 degrees Celsius. What is the idea here is the weight of water must be the same. It's only the volume that changes. So that's why when the uh, volume changes because of decreasing specific weight, water will spill over the edge of the tank. So weight equals specific weight times volume of water and the weight is assumed to be constant here or that's the analysis. So at 30 degrees Celsius, the volume of the tank is pi radius 1.5 square times height 4 so it is equal to 9 pi cubic meter then weight is 9.764 at 30 degrees celsius times volume 9 pi to 76.07 and this weight remains the same 
So we compute the, the volume when the temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. So 276.07 equals 9.53 kilonewtons per cubic meter times volume of water at 80 degrees Celsius. So volume of water at 80 degrees Celsius is expected to be greater 28.969 cubic meter. Therefore, the volume spilled is 28.969 volume at 80 degrees Celsius minus volume of the tank, which is 9 pi at 15 degrees Celsius, at 30 degrees Celsius rather. So volume spilled is 0.6947 cubic meter.